right here for me. <laughs> Cougar and Ivory. <laughs> so guess where we are. You guys will be the warmest for our wind break. <laughs> I'm going to break the wind for you guys. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Are you okay or are you a little too squished? I'm okay. Okay. So have you hop right there? I got Dad's hood here, you know. <laughs> Keep my mouth warm. <laughs> yeah, let me know when you want the boys. Oh. I heard. I felt yeah. that one. <laughs> You okay? Because I'm going to have them replace Boulder and Aurora. Okay. And then I can take Nana off for a loop and put our pipes on. Okay. So probably on the next one. You okay, Mark? Okay. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> cool, yeah. Mark. And don't take Boulder or Aurora's. Oh, yeah, you can because your dog's real service. Yeah, they'll go for the rest of the day. Or maybe Sephira and Skiff. Uh, right. Okay, are they getting tired? Tired? No, they just get tired. <laughs> okay. Nobody's yeah, out there to help you. Nobody's out there to help you. Is my Mark? Is my pom pom in your mouth? No, it's okay. Are you sure? Yep, I'm I just can move it. it. Yep. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Yeah, we're moving. There we go. Bye. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good the racing thing, but he loves doing these uh, <laughs> these little tiny loops with me. Uh-huh. And how long does it take to train a dog? Oh, um, let's get a little break. <laughs> Actually, we uh, put him on. When, on the next one, I'm going to have a six-month-old pup on. Oh. We put him on at about six months old, uh, depending on the puppy and how houndy it is. And they pull right from the beginning. I've only ever had one and it was a Siberian Husky that never took to it. He just was like, nope, I want to be a pet dog. <laughs> so we adopted one of those pet dogs, but 
they pull right from the beginning. And, you know, when they're that young, maybe the most I'm going to do with them is, you know, 8 miles, 10 miles. Uh -huh. And when they're yearlings, they can do more. And then when they're two-year-olds, that's when you can really put the miles on them. Safira, no. Wait, girls. <laughs> this is my girl team. <laughs> there we Peter go. Peter and Cougar, yep. <laughs> they uh, all like to fight every other male there is around here. So we put, you know, crabby females together and they, <laughs> they just brawl and stuff. So the, the two in front were, it looked like they were eating the snow. But yeah, the it's cold on dipping. It's pretty warm out for these guys today. Uh huh. The ideal temperature to run the last few huskies like this in, like my dogs perform their best about negative 10 to negative 15. Ooh. So this is this is warm for them. They don't have a long hair coat, but they have an extremely dense hair coat. So they're not going to freeze when it's 40 below and say they're on the Yukon Quest Trail. Hey, girls. Two sisters. <laughs> Would your sled be this big? No, I didn't no, think this so. This is a freight sled. I know you they... don't see these anymore. This was what you would have seen during the gold rush. Okay. Um, or you know, back in the old days when people needed sled dogs to pull freight. Uh, this is this one is about a 300 pound sled. Um, but no, the type of race sled. It all depends on what you're, how you're racing. If you're doing like a mid long distance race, usually you have a 30 to 40 pound sled. Um, and uh, if you're doing a skirt race, some skirt races have 10 or 12 pounds left. So, these were, our two sons are actually custom built for us to pull on. Oh, okay. We were thinking that we might go up and there's um, apparently some short races this Saturday in Fairbanks. Yeah, I uh, think that there's some sprint races yeah. going on. Uh, the Yukon Quest just ended. Yeah, we saw part of that end. So. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of bog dogs in the town. So it must be like a sprint race because I haven't heard of any other. I think it was the Gold Run something. Yeah, I heard about that. It's a sprint race. Yep. That's right. But sprint dogs look completely different from these guys. These are all distance dogs. Sprint dogs more look like more greyhoundy. Oh, okay. Uh, very, very short coats, long legs, deep chest, short coats so they're not going to overheat on a very fast paced race. Long legs and deep chest. They kind of actually look like greyhounds on steroids. They're a little more muscular. Yeah. So we don't have them here because it's too cold in the interior of Alaska. It's hard to keep weight on them. They have to sleep inside. Now, are your are these dogs all different breeds? Or? They call them Alaskan Husky. Okay. So it's not a recognized breed at all. There's no standard for what the Alaskan Husky is supposed to look like. Uh huh. Um, they're just bred purely. Whoa! <laughs> girls, they're bred purely for their working. <laughs> and all of ours look so completely different because we take in rejects and rescues. Oh. Now, if somebody were to adopt one, do, 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 you, what? do you adopt them out to like yeah. uh, the, the lower 48 or? Yeah, I have dogs in California. <laughs> um, they make great pets when they're older. <laughs> up, 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 up. <laughs> up, 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 up,